Hi, YouTube. My name is Jay Brown. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing with you guys all of the bags that I carried this week. I thought it would be a fun and a quick video, mainly because I switched bags more often than this week than I normally would. I had a few special events this week, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I carried to those special events. So this first bag that you're looking at is the Michael Kors Bedford Bedford Satchel. And this bag has been on my wish list for years. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on a Bedford Satchel for the longest, and I just was unable to. Now, this bag is a bit flashy for my taste. This is the rose gold version, and this is the full size. And I just added on here this cute um, Victoria's Secret heart coin purse that I'm using on a charm as a charm. I carried this bag to a wedding, and I did have on a dress that was pretty close to the color of this heart. So... I thought it would be just a nice um, switch up to the usual neutral color bag instead of doing a black or a brown or even a white bag and just fun for spring. But this bag is very shiny. It is very flashy and I did enjoy the carry. I did not use the crossbody strap or the shoulder strap. There are D-rings on the side of this satchel to attach the strap but i just carried it top handle and i loved it that way and i'm not gonna lie i had the bag packed because it was a long day we were gone from the house for at least a good um i want to say like maybe eight to ten hours so let me just share with you guys some of the accessories that i used with this satchel the first thing i have is this kate spade metallic wristlet that i picked up from Mercari and you know what you guys being honest. I think this is a fake It just it feels fake to me. Um, I don't think I spent more than um $25 on it, but just the lettering is why I think it's a fake if somebody's able to authenticate this or if you've seen this At the Kate Spade outlet or store. Let me know, but this is in a metallic rose gold I think my ring light is washing it out just a little bit, but I think this yeah I don't think it's authentic, but again, I only paid 25 bucks for it, so I'm not too upset. The next item that I carried with this is this beautiful Michael Kors makeup bag, and it held all of my usual makeup necessities and still had room for more. I also picked this up on Poshmark. Um, I do not remember how much I paid for it, but um, it was brand new with tags and I would definitely mix and match this with other pieces. I can see this going really well with um, some Louis Vuitton monogram or some of the dark um, signature prints from um, Michael Kors or even Coach. And then the last piece that I carried with this bag is this Michael Kors wallet also in rose gold and... The one thing I noticed immediately about this wallet, it shows fingerprints like nobody's business. This is what it looks like on the inside, but the amount of fingerprints that were showing up just on the outside of the wallet, I definitely could not carry this bag as an everyday bag. I will for sure use this setup in the future. Um, the next time I go to Vegas, I think this bag will be fantastic for Vegas. You know, just pack it lightly and um, just use it like for New Year's or just going out to dinner because it is very fun. It is very flashy, but it is a bit much for every day. But here's a look at that, how I had, you know, this set up together. And I love these pieces. I think the rose gold is super gorgeous and you guys know i've shared in the past that i love rose gold this is my first rose gold bag but i have other rose gold accessories that i absolutely love so i loved this setup and when i say it looked really cute with my dress you guys i suck at taking pictures i'll try to see if i can find um a picture and insert it 
of my outfit, but I had um, a, a dress that was this color and I wore it with just some nude color heels. It turned out really, really cute. So that is the first bag I carried last Just for week. reference, like I said, you guys, I did not use this strap, but here is the crossbody strap. And as you can see, it is still in the factory wrapping. The next bag I carried this week is this Coach Cargo Tote in denim. I'm still in it. I still have some of my accessories in here and now that i've carried it for about um let's say five days now because i moved in on monday now that i've carried it for about five days i can truly say i love this bag it is lightweight enough to carry absolutely everything i need for work it fits as much as a city tote but it's not heavy even on thursday when i was leaving the office no wednesday when i was leaving the office I was able to throw um, my sweater on top. I still had space to add things, which is really important for me when I'm traveling to and from work with um, a bag. So um, here's a full look at the bag. I also have a what's in my bag video posted on this one. But those of you, if you have your eye on this bag, I do recommend just going on ahead and purchasing it, you guys. I mean, you can try to play the waiting game for sale, but I I wouldn't recommend that. It's it's a really good bag and it's really sturdy. It's held in shape, even with me um, packing it heavy. And most importantly, I love the zipper closure on here. I didn't close it up very often, but here's what it looks like zipped. I don't remember if I showed that um, in my what's in my bag video but this bag is a great buy it's versatile i took it with me to run errands to the dentist all of that yesterday and it's a great bag yesterday i had the day off and this bag ran the streets with me no problem so this is bag number two for the week and it is the bag that i carried the longest about four or five days now next up we have this is my louis vuitton pochette matisse and black emprunt leather and I still have a few items in her. So I carried this bag last night because I went to an awards gala and fundraiser. One of my best friends is graduating from law school. I'm so proud of her. And she received a prestigious award from a women's empowerment organization for those who are either law students or practicing law. So of course I took this, I honestly was, strongly considering taking my black pillow Madison, but you guys, I couldn't find it. Or not to say I couldn't find it, I was running late. This is the first bag I saw that matched. I just wore a long black maxi dress that looked pretty formal. It was black tie. I don't really have black tie clothing, but that dress absolutely worked. And I did use the strap with the bag and I did, I carried it as a shoulder carry instead of crossbody to keep it more with the formal look. And I just wanted to share with you guys really quickly, I am using some of my dress up your purse accessories in here. So as you can see, here's an overview. Let me stabilize that. Here is an overview of those accessories in there. So in this back slip, I have the M pouch and the color Brilliant Pink. And as you can see, this pouch completely fits within the pochette Matisse in the full size. And I think I don't own a full size Cassie, but I think it would also fit in the full size Cassie. So I love that about this piece that you can just slide it in there with no problems and there's still additional space. And then I also have my mini pochette that I was using as my makeup bag in here. And I just, for the sake of saving space, because I had um, my denim card case right next to it, but I just slid it in there vertically so that I could fit a few other things right next to it. And it worked out perfectly. This is by far um, one of my favorite or go-to bags for anything formal, anything kind of fancy. And you just cannot go wrong with the black on black. I think it's just classy and classic. It's beautiful. And I chose not to carry it as a top handle. 
um, and just do the shoulder carry instead. So wonderful option for last night. And it, I chose this bag too because it was easy to just kind of sit in my lap while eating dinner. So this is bag number three and I carried it on Thursday night. So for the remainder of the weekend or at least for today, I am in my Coach Tabby wristlet. And this is from last year with the antique gold hardware. This is what the back looks like. I do have the crossbody strap attached and I will be using this for um, school drop off and pick up. And then later on tonight, I'm going to go have um, dinner and drinks with one of my friends. So this will be perfect. And inside here, I have in that front slip pocket, I have some wipes for my glasses and hand sanitizer wipes. I have Purell singles in that back slip pocket. I have a lip gloss. And then just for reference, I have my work phone in there. Of course, I'll switch it out and carry my personal phone. And then there are two slip pockets right here on this front wall. I'm going to put my ID and my credit card in there. And that's all I will need for either school drop off and pick up or um, drinks with my friend. So these are all of the bags that I carried this week. I want to challenge you all, encourage you all to really make sure that you are enjoying what you have, making the best use of all of the items that you are purchasing use them all you guys you know we have bags with tags accessories with tags kind of just sitting around make sure you're working with your items and finding out what works for you and what doesn't using what you love and just enjoying it and if you're not enjoying it then i also invite you to join me in downsizing and decluttering so i hope you guys enjoyed this video happy friday to you all and i will see you in the